hello guys welcome back once again in the another video of react native so this is the second video of the react native life cycle methods we have already created the first lecture and we have discussed the mounting methods of the life cycle so in this video we will use the updating and the unmounting methods of the life cycle so here is the list of the updating methods so updating methods are used to update the value of props or state to the react native so whenever any change in the state or probe so the updating process of the component get started so these methods are called automatically when a component re-render so in the list of the updating methods we used static get dry state from probes so this method is also used in the mounting methods but this method is also included in the updating methods list because when we change anything in the state or probes so this method is called so the second method in the updating method list is the should component update so actually this method we used whenever we stop the re-rendering we can stop the re-rendering in based of the probes or state so actually we can add here a condition and we can decide the component should be update or not. So the third method we have also discussed and used in the mounting methods. So this method is called every time when we update anything in the component. So the second last method is the get snapshot before update. So this method we have not used and this is only for the updating methods so this method is used when we want to capture any previous state or previous probe so this method will be used last method is the component did update so this method actually called when we update anything in the component so all these methods is the updating methods and we will also learn all these methods with practical demo so the another method we used in the practical demo is the unmounting methods so first of all that what is the unmounting methods so in this phase component are removed from the app view hierarchy and here life cycle of the component is completed and its time of death of the component here you can say that the life of the component is completed and it's removed from the app view hierarchy so in this method mostly we use we can clear any running timers if you have added any timers in the component so we can add here and if you want to stop any network request and clear any previous stored value in the application so in this method we can add so we used in this method is the component will unmount method so in this method we can add anything if you want to clear anything so let's start with practical demo and learn all these methods one by one. So we will use the same example here we have used in the previous example of the lifecycle mounting method. So if you did not watch my previous video so you can watch my previous video also I have given the link in the description box. So here if I show the simulator so simulator is showing like this so because I am showing here a just single message in the message and I am using here a get drive state from probe and updating the state based on the probe because get drive state actually we also used in the mounting method so with the help of this method we can update the state based on the probes so actually we can compare here the state and the probe so I am comparing here a probe and the state and based on the condition because state message and the probe message is not equal then we are displaying here a message and if the probe message and the state message is not equal then we are displaying here a probe message and probe message I am passing from here so here the message is high coding gyan so this is showing here so another thing we will use here should component update so inside the should component update we use the two parameters next probes and next state so basically inside the should component update we just add here a log should component update 
so basically in the should component update we return true or false so if i return here true then the component will be update and if i return here false then the component will not be update so now we are updating the component because i am returning here state so we will check that component is updating or not so we add here a method and just i am adding here a another state variable count and using here a value 0 and here i am using a another method increment count and i am binding this method based on the arrow function and adding here a button scenes and we use the another props of the button is the own press and based on the own press i am calling this method increment count we are binding this method with the arrow function and here we just set the state this dot set state and here we can use the previous state arrow function in here we can use count previous state value of the count and just add here in this value so we are just adding here a 1 in the previous value of count and just display the value of the count here so now just save it and check on the simulator so you can see the log here the first method is called the constructor and the second method is the get drive state from the probe so the two log we have added here get drive state from the probe and third is the render and the fourth method is called here component did mount so another thing suppose now we change something here so when i change something so you can see here a another log is called so all these log is already called get drive state from the probe and another is the should component update is called and with the should component update a render is called again if i change here again and again so you can notice here so every time should component update and render is called and with this get drive state from probe is also called so get drive state from probe is called every time we update something suppose i want to stop here the re-rendering so if i use here a return false and now i just try to change so you will notice that should component update is called but nothing is changed inside the state and render is not called again and again so here we are stopping the rendering because render method is called every time when we change something so if i use here should component update false so the render method will not be called again and again so this method is rarely used methods and it is not compulsory we should use in every component actually this method should be used based on the conditionally suppose if i want to add here a condition i am use here this dot state dot count is not equal to the next value of the state next state count so this will be return true so we can use this method like this so every time when i'm counting here so you can see here so we can display this value here and can check the state value suppose i am using here a so this is the current value of the state and this will be the next value of the state and i'm comparing here the 
करेंट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट विद द नेक्स्ट अपडेटेड वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट सो इफ दिस वैल्यू विल नॉट बी इक्वल देन इट विल बी अपडेट द स्टेट सो जस्ट आई सेव दिस एंड विल चेक ऑन द सिमुलेटर सो जस्ट आई क्लिक ऑन द चेंज सो यू विल सी हेयर द करेंट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट इज जीरो बट वेन आई एम अपडेटिंग द स्टेट सो द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट इज वन सो इट विल बी कोल्ड एंड रेंडर विल आल्सो बी कोल्ड हेयर एंड वेन आई क्लिक ऑन द चेंज अगेन सो द नेक्स्ट टाइम द प्रीवियस वैल्यू और द करेंट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट इज वन एंड द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट इज टू सो इट विल बी अपडेट एंड द रेंडर विल बी कोल्ड सो एवरी टाइम यू विल नोटिस दैट द करेंट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट एंड द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट विल बी कोल्ड हेयर एंड द रेंडर विल बी कोल्ड बिकॉज स्टेट इज अपडेटिंग सो आई एम गिविंग हेयर ए कंडीशन बेस्ड ऑन द नोट इक्वल टू सो इफ आई गिव हेयर ए कंडीशन इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ द करेंट स्टेट एंड द नेक्स्ट स्टेट विल बी इक्वल देन इट विल बी ट्रू अदरवाइज इट विल बी फोल्स देन यू विल नोटिस दैट इट विल नोट वर्क बिकॉज एवरी टाइम द करेंट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट एंड द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द स्टेट इज नोट इक्वल सो इट विल नोट बी वर्क सो इट विल ऑलवेज रिटर्न फोल्स सो लाइक दिस वी कैन यूज द शुड कंपोनेंट अपडेट मैथड so we can use this method according to our requirement if we need this we can use this so the next method of the update series is the get snapshot before update so in this method we use two probes previous probes and previous state so with the help of this name you can understand we are getting a snapshot before updating the state we are getting here the previous state value or previous props value here we are getting the snapshot we are capturing the previous state or previous props use here and updating this method also so just i am using here log here i am just copy this log from here and i am just using inside the get snapshot and just adding here so this is the previous props so here we need to add a p is the not a capital we need to add here p as a small letter so we return here anything or you can return here null suppose i am returning here a null and just save this so you will face here a error that get snapshot before update should be used with the component did update so we need to add here a another method without this method you cannot use this method so it is dependent on the component did update and we can use the same in this method previous probe and another thing is we used here a snapshot we get from the get snapshot method so i am just call this method here also just copy this log here and just call this method and just save this so you will notice that when i am updating something so should component is called and another method then the render method is called and then get snapshot method is called and the previous props is here we are using in the app.js is high coding gyan so this is the props here and we are displaying this props here because this component we are using in the app.js so the root component here is the app.js so props we are getting from the app.js so here props is displaying from the app.js and the previous state is the count is 0 is the previous state and message is this in the state because state is updating from the props so the message is updated with the props so all these things is showing here but in the component did mount is only just called so what is the role of the snapshot here actually we are getting the previous props and previous state here but how we use the capture this and how we use the snapshot suppose i want to use the props so we can just return here null 
or we can return here a previous probes or previous state suppose i will returning here a previous probes and just i display here a snapshot so in the snapshot now the previous probes will be display suppose i change something so you will notice that component date mount and the previous probes is here is the high coding gyan so this message is also displaying in the component did mount because we are capturing this value from the get snapshot before update so we can also capture probes here we can also capture the state here and we can also capture both values if you need both values so you can use here any object and you can pass inside the probes and state and you can return here a object also so now i just save this and now when we update something so in the update a whole object will be display yeah so in the component did mount you can see here a previous props is the message and in the previous state is count and the message so like this we can use the update methods of the life cycle so according to our requirement we can use this so all these are the updating methods and we can use according to our requirement so if you want to update something uh, conditionally so we can use the updating method of the life cycle so another method is the unmounting method so we use here component will unmount so this method we used for the unmounting of the component so when the component life is completed so we use this method so here we reset states clear timers or you can clear any previous value so you can clear any previous value stored in the applications basically this method is reset the component again so all these are the methods of the component life cycle so in the next video we will use and implement the error handling methods of the component life cycle so if you have any doubt any query regarding to the updating methods so please let me know in the comment section so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching